I reply to that. We've shown that Mohammed sold slaves. Okay, look. First of all, you have to understand the time period that Prophet Muhammad was in was in a time where slavery was right. It was everywhere. Sure, sure. Now, let me now elaborate a little bit. Is, is Muhammad our example for today? I'm not talking about anybody. I wanna, I is Muhammad our example today? No, I want to respond yeah, to no, is lie. Muhammad our example today? Yes. Oh, but when you interrupt, you complain. You interrupt me continuously and you complain. Is Muhammad? Is Muhammad our example today? So let me talk to you. Because I'm just going to keep interrupting him because he continuously interrupts me. Is Muhammad our example today? So the argument that he did this in the past is irrelevant if he is our example. So we should have slaves today, right? So you, Muhammad isn't our example then. Go on. Don't go left or right. Go on. No, no, no. I'm following Muhammad a very is, clear logic. Muhammad is our example today, tomorrow, and in the past. His time period was very different to ours. There aren't slaves here for us to trade on. There are no slaves here. Should there but, be? No. We don't believe in slavery. We don't believe slavery is halal. We don't believe you are better than another man. We don't believe in So was Muhammad committing sin when he had slaves then, if it's not halal? How do you know he had slaves? We literally just no, 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 quoted no, no. your hadith. What you read was that he traded two black slaves. Yeah, no. So he was a Muslim slave trader. No, no. How do you know they belong to him? Okay, can we pull up the ones where... Was it, were they his right to sell? Listen, I'll ask you some questions. Ask me okay, all right. Questions. Can you sell? Right, how do I know that they're his? You ask that question, I'll answer. He sold them. And if he didn't sell his own property, that means he was selling someone else's property. And so we can surmise that they were owned by him. Fair enough. No. Fair enough, thank okay. you. I mean, no one really knows whether they were his or not. I was just saying that. But the point I'm trying to make is, that in a time where you're surrounded by slaves, and that's that's the currency for some people, the only way to abolish it is by freeing them. And the only way to free them is by buying them. How else can you, you can't take somebody else, I can't take your car away from you right now. I wanna free the car, and have to buy it off you first, and then free it. And that's what that, that doesn't, that doesn't Now the two black ones, wait, the two black ones, and I'll be honest with you, like, I don't like lying. The two black slaves that I did you just show me right now, I wasn't aware of them. Yeah. Um, on top of that, Do you the want fact to that he's, he sold right. two for, a, for the price of one. One Arab for two, one. which implies that black was inferior. Because every time the, the hadiths want to point out someone's black, they say it. Why, why do they make a point of saying black slaves? What's no, no, the point? No, every time. Because there are times they where the person slaves. is black and they don't mention about his black. No, black black. Black. Oh, no. say black is no, no, black. Did you know he was black? Yeah. Why? They've mentioned it. Exactly. They don't always no, no. say it. They exactly. Don't always say it. Sometimes no. they say raisin, don't they? Raisin hair. No, no, no. Raisin hair. Right. No, no. So, brother. Think, what are you think, reading? Brother. No, 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 Muhammad said that you should follow the Caliph even if he is an Ethiopian with the head of a raisin. That's another yeah, one yeah, of yeah, your hadiths. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your prophet yeah. was racist to black people and traded in oh, black wait, slaves, on. bro. How is that racist? No, no, no. If I call you blue eyes, is that racist? No, no, no. 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 It's a description. No. no, no now, he described a person as raisin head. <laughs> Raisin, okay, what does that mean to if you? If I said to you, to? maybe if I said to you, because you might be in, I don't know, no, inherently no, racist. No, no. Wait, 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 you have, you, you, in your heart, the fact that you want to reject slavery already makes you better than Muhammad. No, it doesn't. It really Muhammad does. was the first man on earth to abolish no, slavery he didn't from abolish a whole it. peninsula. He didn't. Tell me anyone else that Muslims has abolished... Muslims practiced slavery for 1400 years without interruption. What Trump? kind of slavery? Did Jesus abolish slavery? You speak so much. That I'm going to give you an example. Wait, now you asked me to give you an example. Uh, the Hadith, it's in Sahih al-Bukhari, <coughs> and this is it, narrated by Abu Said al-Qudri, that while he was sitting with Allah's Apostle, he said, O oh, Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of booty, and we are interested in their prices. What is your opinion about coitus interruptus? This is talking about ejaculating inside them. The Prophet said, do you really do that? It is better for you not to do it. No soul which Allah has destined to exist will surely come into existence. Okay, so confused. Muhammad is saying, so you wanted what kind of sex, what kind of slavery? Sex slavery. Can you explain to me what that says again? So, basically what happens is they've won a war, they've captured female slaves, and they want to know about the prices of the slaves. And they want to know if coitus interruptus is allowed because it will affect the prices of the women. Right. 
i.e. a pregnant slave is worth less than a non-pregnant slave. And so Muhammad says, don't do coitus interruptus, which means what he's saying is ejaculate. No, coitus interruptus means that you withdraw before the point of ejaculation. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he's saying is ejaculate inside them. That's your prophet. That's okay. your great example. Now, now that what does that mean to you? What that means, it means that Muhammad is a disgusting individual. No, no, no. no. Before you he is not a moral example. No, no. If he says to his people, don't pull out, continue to have sex, have children with his women, what does that mean to you? It means that Allah, Muhammad values these women so little that he allows these women to be captured as slaves, used as sex to toys. Have sex with women and pull out. Do you think? That, that would basically mean... Talk about talk about missing the elephant in the room. <laughs> We're talking about the sexual slavery of women and he's trying to argue about the best way no, to no. rape them. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You said, okay, let me rephrase what you said and you told me if I'm right. Yeah. You said Muhammad told his people to not... Do coitus interruptus. Yeah, to basically ejaculate in them. Have yes. children with these women. Yeah. And you're telling me that that is worse, far worse, than him telling these people to just have sex with them but don't have kids, do whatever you want to sell them. You think that's worse than that? I am, I am saying... It's A worse than B. Basically. Right, yes, I am saying that each of these things is... So a, to settle wait, down wait, wait, bro. with a woman, have children with them, is worse than just using them and abusing them. Is so let, 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 what I'm so saying... Now Bob is basically saying that using and abusing is a better form of taking care of your captured people rather than actually settling down with them. So let, let, let me just let me just deal with that point. Let me just deal with that point because this is this is what we can see as clutching straws. Hold your mic, bro. Um, this is what we see as clutching the straws. Like no one heard me say. I could respond to. Wait one one second, one second. This is this is how desperate he is to try and make his profit look good. To try and make his profit look good, yeah. he's trying to make me look worse. <laughs> but the point is, we've got a camera and a microphone, well, bro, one, one, and one. and no one, no one heard me say these words. What you have put into my mouth, I, I condemn words. slavery. You have justified, you have tried to justify the raping of slaves by saying, oh, "Well, it would be worse to rape them in another way." That is what Muhammad has done to you. That is what following Muhammad has done to you. Right, one second. It gets worse. Can I, can I Let me finish. No, no. Properly. Let me finish. No, you had your chance. You should have used it. This is what the Quran says in Surah 4, Surah 24, Ayah 33. But force not your maids into prostitution when they desire chastity in order that you make a gain in the goods of this life. But if anyone compels them, Yet after such compulsion is Allah for off for giving most merciful. So Allah is saying, don't prostitute your slaves, but if you do, I'll forgive you anyway. It's just right there. What does he say? You read it. You read it. Which verse is it? 34? Underlined. Okay. But force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity. So when they don't want to have sex, yep. don't force them. Agreed. That is what the Quran is saying. In order that you make a gain, you may make a gain in the goods of this life. Who's the you? You, the men. The men who are doing it. The men who are right, doing it. Right, carry on. But if anyone compels them, yet after such compulsion is Allah of forgiven, most merciful. Most if anyone compels them to do what? To be prostitutes. Contexts. To be prostitutes, yes. If anyone apart from those men or those men themselves? Those men are the ones compelling them. Okay, so there you go. So do you not see that Allah is forgiving people who are forcing slaves into prostitution? No, 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 no. You put, look. Go on, what do you think it, it means? Chastity. Prostitution in terms of what? You think those men who are allowing their slaves to sleep with everyone else? It says but prostitution. Islam, it says you know prostitution that? right there. Uh, but you have to understand the context of Islam. We don't allow prostitution. Are you sure? I'm sure. We aren't even allowed to sleep with women that aren't from our right hand. So our wives or, like the Quran no. says, our captured women. No. So, exactly. Right. Now, we wait, can wait, sleep wait, with wait, our captured wait. women. We can see with the one we've captured. I can't there you it. go! No, you've misunderstood what I'm trying to say though. Try to understand where I'm coming from. If the Quran says you're not allowed to have sex with a woman other than your wife. And your slaves. And your slaves. So it's sex wait, slavery. Wait, wait, okay. Other than these two, you're not allowed to have sex outside of that, right? So we are talking now, about sex slavery then. Whoa, whoa. 
And I just finished my point. Yeah. Now, this verse, what you're talking about, and this verse is prostitution. Do you realize it? This yes. verse is talking about prostituting your slave. Yeah. Now, he's saying, if if you prostitute your slave, yeah. then, uh, what do you call it? You can't... Uh, you'll, you'll be forgiven Yes Actually, Maybe that's for other reasons But it's not for me to go around and sleep with You know, other guys to sleep I'm not allowed to do that So you have to understand where, that, where it's come from That is for the men themselves Who are the masters of those servants Bro, do you, want, do you want to own a slave? No Why not? I'm not in that time period no, that's not answering the question. I mean, look, I, we, there I are don't slaves today. Look, don't you believe don't slavery. believe in slavery. I don't believe in slavery. And but this you is misunderstood that, the slavery. Thank you. Mistake. Right, you, you've spoke. You've made it the same as the one in so, 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 hold on one second. So, what we've seen is you're better than Muhammad because Muhammad believed and practiced slavery. You've already testified to the fact that the Quran teaches. Sexual slavery, you've already testified to that. There's no point denying it, we got you on camera. Literally, we caught you on camera saying it. So one second, one second, one second. So you're better than your prophet. And I'm saying to you, bro, if you don't want to do what Muhammad says you can do, then what you're saying is that you want someone better than Muhammad. And that person is Jesus. Because Jesus lived in a time of slavery and he never owned a slave. Jesus said, one second, one second, let, let me actually read you what the Bible says about, what the New Testament says about slavery. The, uh, 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 the, the slavery thing that you want to speak about, the sex slavery that you call it. In your Quran. It's not sex slavery though. You, you literally, you literally said, you literally said, yeah, you literally said, you literally said you can have, you, you said you can have sex with your slaves. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You said that. You have, have ignorant and so... Uh, it's alright bro, I've got it. I've got it. You misunderstood it. What is slavery to you? What is it? When one own person owns another person. Yeah, in what sense? That they can sell okay. them, like yeah, Muhammad did. Is there, is there rules of conduct for those people? No, you've asked me what the definition of slavery is, I've given it to you. When so I can sell them. another human being for a price, that is my definition of slavery. Alright, look, at the end of the day... What's your definition? My definition of servitude. Right, all, not slavery. so you can sell them. Can you sell them? Servitude. Can you sell them? Um, yeah, I think, I think we're allowed to. Yeah, there you go. I think we're allowed to. There you go. Oh well, yeah, you're, look, you have to understand the context of it, don't you? Don't you? Can't you hear yourself, bro? On one hand, you're saying, I don't want to own a slave. But then in the no, next look. breath, you're saying, we can. I'm telling you, organization like this, where everyone's going, you know what I mean, crazy, killing each other, taking over each other's pe uh, uh, homes and lands or whatever. In that context, what do you do with the people who you've just beat in a battle? What happens to their women? What happens to them? If, if we leave them all into, and, and allow them to go out into the wild, they will get raped or killed, right? They'll so get they raped our... or killed. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll rape them ourselves. No, now you're putting words into my mouth. That's what exactly saying, what we're no, talking about. You're putting words into my mouth. What I'm saying is the women that we've captured and the children that we've captured and the men that we've captured, we take care of them. There are rules of conduct to these people. By having sex we with them. them. We feed them. And if they wish, it's consent based by the way. I'm not even sure if you know that. If the women want to have sex with us, we have a grace period. After one month or something, we're allowed to have sex with us. If there was no, if there weren't no grace period, then I'd understand where you're coming from about how Muslims just want to rape and kill women. I'd understand, but there's a grace period. But even Can that's wrong. Can you explain why there's a grace period to have sex with women? So, what, what kind of religion would allow, would, would, would tell you to have a grace period? Yeah, yeah. If they were so, if they were for, um, you know. Grace okay, are you done? So, so here, here's be, here, let's be clear. When Muhammad captured the land of the Quraysh, the, the Jewish tribes, yeah. Safiya was one of the captured women. Yeah. Muhammad had sex with her within a week yeah. of that capturing. So, so much for the grace period. <laughs> the, 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 the point is, so there you go. There you go. So Muhammad, the greatest example, does exactly the opposite of what he's saying. Muhammad had sex with Sophia, a captured Jewish woman, within a week of her capture. So this grace period, it's utter rubbish. It's complete baloney. And what we've got, and here's the difference between your religion and my religion. 
is that my religion applies at all times and in all places. Christ said, love one another, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, as a neighbor, would I, would I want to be taken as a slave? No. You, you ask, no, you know, one second, one second, one second. Muhammad permits you to have slaves. Christ commands you to love your neighbor as yourself. I don't want to be taken as a slave. So does that mean that I should own a slave? If I was a slave, I would want to be set free. So if I own a slave, what do I do? You set them free. So Christ teaches a maxim that leads to the abolishment of slavery. But that's yeah, why, one slave. that's why, that's why, that's why, when Paul sent back a slave to his master, he said, receive him not as a slave, but as a brother, not as a slave. So the New Testament does abolish slavery.